My name is Nhan Nhiem. Today, I have a lesson to all of you. The lesson is the Microsoft Word 2010. Okay? In this lesson, I want to show you about the schedule for study. The first one, we need to know about the word. And second, we need to know about the text basics. And lesson three, you need to know about the formatting text. Okay? And lesson four, we need to know about saving, how to saving word in Microsoft Word. And number five, modifying page layouts. Normally, like you want to write a document in your computer, the first you would like to prepare your page layout first. And then number six, you need to checking spelling grammar in your articles. And number seven, printing. After you finish your works, how can you do? If you want to get your document, the reason you, the resolution you should go home to printer to print your document for writing or for your books okay and as an age we need to know about the using indent and tabs and lesson nine line and paragraph spacing and number 10 we need to know about the working with list and number 11 adding break okay and one more other lesson we have all is the 17 lesson the first one I would like to explain about the getting started with word first. Uh, basically, the new tab ribbon system was introduced in Word 2007 to replace traditional menu. The ribbon contains all the commands you will need to order the command test, like we have home, insert, pick layouts, reference, mailing, review, and view. Okay. Normally, in a uh, Homes, we have a ball. This one we can say balls, or we can say uh, click to on this command or to do something. And this one is add italics. This one is the underline for the letters. Okay. One more is the to minimize and maximize the ribbon here. If you want to set up the minimize or maximize here, the first one you should go to around the upper right corner on the ribbon to maximize here. You see, you need to see in this photo, you can see here. And one more thing, to custom the ribbon, we can click right or ribbon and select customize the ribbon here. In here, you see, we can choose customize the ribbon here. And then click the ribbon to custom it. Click next, we can say click new tabs. A new tab will be created with the new group inside it. Then one more, make sure the new group is selected. And then select command for the list on the left, then click add. You can also drag command directly into the groups. The final is when you are done adding command, click OK. That finish your work. This one I want to show you about uh, the command of ribbon here. We can say keyboard or shortcut. We can say uh, change characteristic heading or change the title or you want to insert the picture, insert page layout, or you want to review or send by mailing, something like that. One more thing is the if you don't see the command, you want to click on the choose command from drop down box or select all command here. You can see here you see or we have a popular command or we can choose all command, macros, all tabs or tool tabs. And this one, main tab we have home, insert, text, table, illustration, link, header, footer, and text. Okay. This one is the we can say backstep view. In backstep view here, you can see the pen template like this. We have file, home, insert, page layout, reference, mailing, reviews, view, and developer. Right. In that way, in the left here, we can say we have save. Save up, open, close, enforce, recent, new, or print. This is the menu and the function we need to choose in the Microsoft Word. One more is you want to quick access toolbar here. The first one to add command to see the quick tool. And then, number one, you click the drop down around the right on the quick access toolbar. And number two, select the command you wish to add from the drop down menu. I will appear to quick access toolbar. Okay, this one I want to show you about the ruler is 
the ruler in Microsoft Word if you want to see the ruler here you can click on this link and then uh, the ruler is also located in the top and on the left on your document it makes it easier to adjust your document with precision if you want you can hit the ruler or to free of screen space and number next slide if you want to hit or view the ruler you can click your ruler icon or you can go scroll down to hit to the rulers and then click ruler icon again you will if you want to don't know if you want to see the ruler you can click in this sign or if you want to don't see you can click on this sign as well too it's been delete your ruler here this one is the creating the document to create a new blank document the first one we can click the file tab so the file tab can be to backspace view and number two select new here and then you can select bank document under available template it has been highlighted by here if you want to choose this template it's up to you it's some but mostly the student they used to use the blank document because it is easy to design for writing a document one more is you want to open a document here the first one you need to click file tab and then take the view of backstab view then select open the open develop box appears okay you can see you see the our document that we are saved in the your folder here right after you click like example like i want to click this file for dresser 2010 i click here the file and then click open it just open automatically by microsoft word this one uh, select your document and click open you can also access it from the recent document uh, sometimes like you are recent write a document and you you close and then if you want to recent or you want to recover your document again you can go to recent here and click your document which one you are writing before and then we can go to open click two time of the microsoft word okay <coughs> Lesson 2, I will show you about the text basic here. Normally, text basic is we have one first is to move your mouse to the location and which text to appear in the document and then click the mouse. Insertion point appear number one is tie the text you wish to appear. And number two, to delete text, place the insertion point next to the next you wish to delete. Press the backspace key on your keyboard to delete text or the last to the insertion point. And one more is to press the delete key on your keyboard to delete text to the right of the insertion point. One more is the to select text. If you want to select text, the first one we go to place the insertion point next to the text you wish to select and then click the mouse. While holding it down, drop your mouse over the text to select it. Release the mouse button, you have selected the text highlighted will appear over selected time like this you see the example here the first one is you want to select the text or you want to design this text we can select the text first and then we click you can choose design in this function if you want to uh, your letter is bold you can choose B B is letters but if you want to your letter is the interdict we can choose I letter here or sometimes you can use the keyboard we can click uh, Ctrl B is bold, Ctrl I is the italic, and Ctrl U is the underline from your letters. Okay. The first one is you want to uh, copy your text. The first one you can select your text and then click the copy command or home tab. And then you can also click write your document and select copy. Okay. One more is you want to pass your document. You can uh, select the text you wish to copy and then cut the command to home tabs you can also right click your document and select cut here and then number three is the place your insertion point where you wish the text to appear and number four click the pass command on the home tab the text will appear and number three if you want to drag and drop text the first one you need to select the text you wish to copy and number two click the drop the text to the location you wish to do up here the cursor will be held to rectangular under the indicate you are moving touch like this text right 
if I want to select this text, I just copy some point of the text. I don't need to copy all the text. We can select and then we can move or copy. We can, we can write or we can use mark key is the control C. And you want to pass in other way, we can use the control V. You see the main point. Okay. One more I want to tell you about the find and replace. Example like you want to replace one word. Example like you are working in a longer document, it you can be difficult and a time cost summarizing to locate a specific word or press. Word can automatically search your document using the find feature and it allows you to change word press using the place. Okay. The first one is you want to find a word or you want to replace that word, we can go to this file, we can go to find and then or replace here. It shows you about like this one, okay? Example like I I want to find the word is the financing, you see? And and then I want to correct it. How can I correct? I go to uh, the first one, I just go to what? I just go to uh, click the find command, the navigation pane will appear on the left side of the screen and number two I need to tie the text and width okay of the navigation here and then if the text is found in document it will be highlighted in yellow okay and I, normally the preview will appear with the navigation plan if the text appear more than one you can click a row on the navigation plan or tap through the result you can also click the result preview on the navigation plan to jump to the location of a result in your document. Okay. This one. This one is the I want to replace. Like I want to replace this word. Uh, June 14. I replace to June 16. I can go to a find here. If you want to find, we go to find here. If you want to replace, we can go to click button uh, replace here. And we can we can change uh, June 14 to June 16 here, okay. Next lesson, I will show you about the for how formatting text, and then I will uh, show you about the Microsoft Word about the template. Thank you for your watching my video. See you in next video.